All right, buddy. So what's your name and where are you from? Man, my name is uh, Nate Dog 916 man. I'm from Del Paso Heights, California, in Sacramento County, man. Nate Dog 916 man. Uh, you came at me with a pretty wild story. Um, you got a lot of information that I want to understand a little bit more about the whole black car situation over there in California, man. Tell me a little bit about you first, though. What led you into the penitentiary, uh, where you grew up? and what? I mean, you know, well, what... you know, okay, so I grew up, like I said, I'm from Del Paso Heights, California. You know, it, it's, it's part of Sacramento, but, you know, I'm from my neighborhood, so I'm from Del Paso Heights. So, uh, you know, I grew up there, you know, it's, it's, it's a regular hood neighborhood. You know, it's so not Northern North... California. Yes, yeah, in Northern California, the capital of California. Okay. You know, Sacramento. And, uh, you know, uh. I came up just like every other little kid in the hood, man, like seeing all the flashy cars and shit. I wanted to be like that. You know what I mean? Or stuff. Excuse me. You know, I wanted yeah. to be like that. So I just the the natural progression due to my uncles being in the gang and everybody else being in the gang. My The natural progression for me was to be a Del Paso Heist Bloods just like them. Yeah. So, so I, speak, I speak about that all the time, about how it's kind of just, you know, like a lineage type of thing. You know right, I mean? absolutely. Like like some cities, you know, you'll hear people saying they got quoted on or jumped in or all. Nah, it was a natural progression in my city. If you're not yeah. if if you didn't come up with us, we ain't recognizing. We don't jump people when when I was when I was like out there in the streets doing my shit with the homies, we didn't we didn't jump people in. Everybody around us was people we grew up with. People, you know, people from our neighborhood. You know, you okay. you couldn't come from somewhere else and get put on our neighborhood. Yeah. It don't work like that. Not in yeah. our neighborhood. And that's usually, and that's uh, eventually what sent you to penitentiary was the gang life or what? Well, just that lifestyle, period. And, and, and you know, I got into selling drugs and, 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 and somebody basically, what sent me to the penitentiary for my long jolt, which was uh, 16 years, 10 months, basically 17 years. Damn, uh, that's a stretch. Yeah, yeah, that's a little minute. <laughs> hey, look, uh, shot, uh, before you move forward, you know, Shoddy just got sentenced to 15 years. I don't know if you know that Shoddy yeah, guy. I know who that is. Yeah, dude from Nine Trey. Yeah, T- yeah, yeah. Tell everybody exactly about how how 15 years feels. Woo! <laughs> it feel like you're not coming home. That's what it feel like. Yeah. That's what it Dang. feel like. It feel like it's, it feel like like even it's either gonna crush you or it's gonna make you strong. Because I mean, it's only two things it could do, man. You you can't. It, it, I done seen people break down over five, man. Yeah, they, they, for they sure. Told, they sentenced me to 18. I was like, hey, it's over, bro. It's over. Yeah. Like. That's my life now. That's that's what I'm doing. That's all I can do. You know yeah. what I mean? So basically, uh, I got into the drug life, you know, in, in the gangs and into the drugs and selling drugs. And uh, I fronted somebody, you know, gave somebody something on consignment. And basically, they, they basically, somebody from the other side of the gang. And because uh, I was trying to be on my business tip. And uh, dude basically told me he was, basically his, his actions showed me he wasn't going to pay me. Uh-huh. So. Um, what do you know, mean his know. actions? What was he doing? Well, basically, I, I was in a whole nother state doing my thing, and I told him I'm coming back tomorrow. Have my money when I get there, cause I need that for some other stuff. Yeah. And I got back, and basically, he told me to my face, um, "I don't got it right now, and you'll get it when you get it." <laughs> Damn. Oh. oh, that's that's what's gonna happen, huh? Okay. Yeah. So, you know, like I say, um, it went from. Me piecing him right there in front of the car, like I just took flight off top as soon as he said it. You know what I mean? Because basically, in my mind, you telling me I, you have no respect for me at all. Yeah. No, respect, no respect for the fact that I, I did you a favor, and I told you I was coming back and I needed my money. And you could have just came at me like, "Hey, bro, I don't got it right now. Give me a couple of days to get it together, or anything like that." But you gonna tell me I'm, I get paid whenever I get paid? That's like telling me get paid however I know how. So the only yeah. way I knew how was to take off. Yeah. So I took off. I whoop him in front of the apartment complex. He run up the stairs. Now he run up in the stairs up to into an apartment of some customers of mine, some people I deal with. And and I hear, uh uh uh, why are you reaching for a gun? I hear that. So I I'm I'm, I'm on his tail. So when I come through the door, I, I whip out. I had a weapon on me. I whip out. But he like arms distance away from me when I walk in. So I immediately slap him with my pistol, like immediately. And um. You know, that bread of nine is all metal. When that hits your face, it hurt real bad. Yeah, peel, peel, peel something back. Yeah, so he he fell out. I look, I see he ain't got no gun in his hand. So now I'm mad because you you pulling, you trying to pull fake pistols. So I, I basically, I pistol whip him, man. Uh, basically until he go into a coma. And uh, they charged me with attempted murder, but I took a deal for assault with a deadly weapon. You know, using a gun. So I took a deal for 18 years. 
I did 16 years, uh, 10 months. Shit's crazy, huh, man? It's, it. I look at it like it's it's crazy how how stuff can go, but like from 12 and a half, bro, I, I, that was, I mean, I said this before, it's like that's the natural progression of how my life was going anyway. Like, yeah. I didn't just, that was my first time doing something and I go to prison for a long time. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, I did go for a long time for me, but it was either that or I was going to die in the streets. I was either going to the prison or, 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 or dying in the streets because that's the life I was living. Yeah. All right, you man. Know, so uh, you're running with the Bloods. Yes, sir. Uh, over there in Northern California, man, Sacramento. And you go yeah. and you, you ride in with them all the way into the penitentiary. Tell me a little bit about yeah. how uh, your first time, uh, what was the first jail you went to, man? What was what was the experience like Sacramento for you? Sacramento County Jail. Sacramento County Jail. Uh, well, the first time I went there, I was only 18. But at this time, I'm already, by the time I go for this case, I'm, everybody know me already. So it's just like going home, kind of, you know, unfortunately. But yeah. the first time I went there, it's like, I mean, I don't I don't want to sound like, you know, oh, it didn't bother me or nothing like that. But at the same time, you got to like I said a second ago, I've been going to juvenile since I was 12. So it was like juvenile camps, uh, boys yeah. homes, uh, just all different facilities. So being locked up, like going to county, it was just like you put me in a pod full of bloods in Sac County. They, they put you right with all the bloods. So it's like I know I know most of these dudes from juvenile and all the facilities. So it's like. It Were you kinda, already labeled? Oh, yeah. Well, not the first time I went. I wasn't. But as soon as they seen who I was, as soon as they put me on the floor, it was like, you go to, are you, well, they asked if you're from the north, if you're from a, if you're from, where, they asked what neighborhood I was from. I said, I'm from Del Paso Heights. So they automatically put me on the blood side. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, don't get me wrong. It's some crypts from my neighborhood, but it's only one block of crypts from my neighborhood, like one yeah. street in the whole neighborhood. But like it's it's like my my record had preceded itself. So when I finally went to the county for the first time, it was like, here we go, you know what yeah. I mean. But this time on this case that I went for, I thought it was over with, dog. So it was like, I was stressed out. Like I mean, you can't tell because I ain't got no grades, but yeah, I was stressed out. Yeah. I thought it was, I thought it was like because I didn't know dude live. So when they arrested, when they finally caught me, I didn't know dude was alive. I thought dude was dead. Yeah. So, because I had been hearing different, you know, I heard he was in a coma and he didn't make it. I heard he was in a coma and he did make it. So I was like, whatever, they finna give me life anyway. So when I was on a run, I basically went on a crime spree, kind of. You know what I mean? I was jacking every, anybody who owed me money, I was coming to take it. If you didn't have it, I'm taking something. You know what I mean? It was just like, and then all those crimes led to like a carjacking, a robbery. Bunch, basically in California, a bunch of strikeable offenses. So, and That's I got crazy, into man. county jail and... I mean, I don't even want to say it was a shell shock situation because I had been there. The prison, hitting prison was the shell shock part. County jail was just, it, it was regular program. It wasn't it, it, it wasn't no different than the juvenile facility to me. Just people were adults. Okay. But you were running with the Bloods in uh, Sacramento. Yeah, definitely. Okay, Sacramento County Jail. Uh, yeah. And what was the politics like in there, man? I mean, I don't, I mean what I, I don't, what, see, what I don't understand about the whole California thing is... Right. Bloods and Crips. When people think about Bloods and Crips, they think of them as enemies, arch rivals. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. as soon as we see that damn color, it's on. It's on sight. You know? Yeah, it's on sight. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, okay. at, that time, at, at that time, it definitely was. Okay. In, in, in the county jail situation, it definitely is like that. You know, if, if we catch you, it's on. If you catch me, I already know you're going to pop. It's not no question about what you're going to do in the county jail. Like if we go to the courts, if we go to court and they put us in a bullpen together, and I know that you from the other side and you know i'm from the other side it popped you know what i mean immediately and they usually keep it separate they keep the east side of the jail going to different days of court than the west side which is the crip and sereno side and okay and this was back in the day for you you don't do you think it still works like that nowadays i'm pretty sure it do because i'm this is a predominantly blood city so i'm pretty sure they keep it separate and i heard somebody else not that long ago say something on here that they had went and got put in holding in my county and they got put on the west side because they were uh um uh, they, they, they had a blue rag. So I, I think it's pretty close to the same. I don't think they're going to change that because people were getting people were getting mauled, man. They had to switch it up. People yeah. were getting hurt, man. They, they, people was getting hurt. It was bad. It was ugly. And, it, they, it's, and it's every part of the county system is separate like that. Yeah. You know I mean, they don't, now, they don't. Now, the penitentiary is different. Oh, 100 percent different. Okay, I had let, let's out. crank it up, man. Let's get. Oh, well, let's first go. off, before we leave Sacramento, because I'll probably make 
an episode simply on Sacramento, man. Uh, right. Tell me your wildest moment in Sacktown Jail, man. In Sack Jail, wildest moment. Wildest man. moment, uh, a scariest moment, or just the craziest thing you might have seen in there. The, I, I'm gonna think the craziest thing I saw, personally saw. Uh, because I mean, really, there's not too much more than just a lot of fist fights in the county jail. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not no real. It's not like L.A. County at all. Believe me, it's, okay. it's no, no, no. Uh, I'm not trying to make my county look softer because it is what it is. But it, my county jail compared to L.A. County jail is nothing. It, it, you can't even compare them to each other. Well, uh, I think actually this year, I believe L.A. County's murders have went up like. 40%, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like, that's what I'm saying. No, they're way up compared to ours. Ours yeah. is ours is fist fights. You you get in a fist fight, but they keep us all separate. So we might get in a fist fight over a card game in our county. But the craziest thing I think I saw is I think I I seen a um uh, a, a young brother got into it with a um another race, and at the same time we in two hundred pod, which is just like we fresh. Ain't none of us been to prison, so we don't know about prison politics, and another race dude get into with this brother and he get off on him. And when he get off on him, dude fall out, start shaking, foaming out the mouth. And I'm like who, 18. Who, white like, dude, black dude. Uh, the, the dude that got hit was the brother, the black dude. Okay. And, and he got hit by a Paisa, uh, by a, a Mexican national. Okay. And, uh, we like, Oh, well, you know what I mean? It's a head up. We just looked at it as a head up. Like, okay, you got knocked up. But that was just a crazy how that's the first time I had seen a dude like in convulsions from a punch. Yeah, that's like, crazy, ain't it? I try out. telling people all the time, dog. Yeah, like I had I had knocked people out before, but I never see that was like some of that. Is he dying? Like, yeah, is I, he dead? Is he? He's about to die. He about to yeah, die, y'all. I'm like, I'm like, bro, let's go in the cage, bro, because this dude finna die, man. I'm about to. Hey, I'm going to my bed, bro. I'll be yeah. back later. Yeah, <laughs> and like, like if it was in 300 pod, like, see, our pods are separated by numbers: 100 pod, 200 pod, 300 pod, right? 100 pod fresh offenders, 200 pod uh, serious offenders, 300 pod ex convicts that are on new new cases or violations or whatever, right? So, 300 pod, if that would have happened, it would have popped. Like it would have been a melee, it would have been a riot off top. But yeah. 200 pod, we not on no politics, we don't know nothing about politics, so we just, you know, it's a head up, like hand your business. Yeah. And like I heard you talk about like your time before, like it's kind of like how yours is, is like other races with other race. You want to fade with another race? It's just a fade with another race. It's not no. Big deal, and, like that. And, and the level three pot is where all the oh, uh, the 300 pot. yeah, the 300 pot is all people that have been to prison. If you've been to prison even one day, you got to go automatically, they, they keep it separate like that because of the politics, I believe. Yeah, you know? I remember someone telling me, uh, came on the show before and told me a little bit about uh, Sacramento, they said the same exact thing. Yeah, they keep it uh, separate. I've yeah. never been in the county jail as an ex convict, so I've never been in the 300 pot at all. I just heard about it, okay, because hey, I only oh, went to prison that one time, and yeah, it's a wrap. Yeah. And uh, in Sacramento, do they ever house black dudes with white guys at any point in time at yeah. all? OK, the only way the only way and this happened to me back when I was like 18, um, the only way you'll be interracially mixed is if you go to the trustee floor and you like a worker. So okay. if you basically got like six months or less and you got like your first offense. You ain't no violent criminal uh, and they'll put you on a trustee floor where you're a worker and then you sell up with wherever a bed is at. And they had yeah. me in a cell with a white dude. He wasn't like a racist white dude or nothing, but just a regular white dude. Oh, and, so uh, you made trustee? Oh, yeah, at that time, yep. Damn, and, with those violent charges? No, 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 not this one. This is when I was 18. Oh, oh okay, 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 okay. No, no, this is when I was 18. I was in, I was 18, and I had um, got caught in a, stolo, in a stolen car with a gun under the seat. Oh, this so, is just your first time going into Sacramento? Yeah, this Sacramento. was my first time in, the, yeah, was first time in the county jail. Okay. No, I, Nah, this time they put me straight in the 200 pod. I was already, nah, it, it was no way they was going to put me on the trustee floor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So that's good. Okay. Uh, it's not good, but it's good. All right. So right. Sacramento, uh, you, yes, you just broke it down quite a bit for me, man. I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and move into uh, the penitentiary, man. What was, penitentiary? The first, what was the first penitentiary you went to? How well, was first, it? Well, first they sent me to a uh, reception center, of course, right? Isn't, and, uh, isn't uh like San Quentin or something like that? Uh, no, that's for uh, that's for uh, like the Bay Area. I'm from Sacramento. We the Valley, right? So we go to okay. um, uh, DVI or Tracy is the reception center for Sacramento County. Tracy, so, okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so San Quentin is uh for uh like people from the Bay Area, San Francisco, yeah. Oakland, all that stuff over there. 
we don't consider ourselves the Bay Area. We're not the Bay Area. We don't connect to the Bay in no way. We, we, we got rivers, but we don't connect to the ocean. So we're not the Bay. But um, <laughs> you see, we, from, we Sacramento. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But uh, yeah, we go to uh, Tracy Dual Vocation Institution or Institute, whatever they want to call it. And um, first of all, the, the main line there used to be considered gladiator school. Yeah, I've heard some stories from Tracy, man. But and now, don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not on the main line. I'm in reception, so that's a whole another separate side of the yeah. prison, right? Yeah. But it's got everybody together. Like every not you not sell together, but we hit in that yard. Everybody's on there together. And like when I was in the county, I had got into it for a little extortion case in the county jail, and uh, they put me in a hole for extortion. And an OG told me, uh, because I told him how much time I'm getting, and I'm like, you know, it's whatever. I'm like, what do I do? You know, I'm asking questions like, what do I do when I get, you know, how I'm going to get, how I'm going to get through this shit. And he like, look, best thing you could do is the first person that say anything to you, get off and don't stop until the guards pull you off of him. And I mean, at this time, I mean, I'm, now I'm like 6'3", 225, right? But at that time I'm 6'3", like 170, right? Yeah. So I'm like, shit, okay, all right. So I get to Tracy, I go to Chow and a dude did some reckless crap, and we had metal trays at that time. And now, when he said, hold on one second, I hate to stop you. When he said, as soon as someone says something to you, you said something flight. crazy. Says something crazy. Disrespectful. Okay, okay, okay. Anything, anything out of line, anything out of pocket. If I take it wrong, get off. Okay, okay, okay. And and that's what I did. Uh, uh, somebody said something, and I didn't like what he said. Unfortunately, I didn't know politics at the time because, you know what I mean, I ended up getting – um uh exercise dp'd for that you know what i mean i got to exercise discipline okay uh, from, from the homies like they're like okay you're gonna work out the whole yard because you're not supposed to put your hands on homies but when i went to chow i got into a fight with a dude from oak park which is the other the, there's there's the two biggest blood neighborhoods in sacramento or del paso yeah. Heights, oak park yeah uh i get into a fight with a cat from oak park now on the streets we beef with each other now, was this like within the first day of coming into prison or what? Not the first day, but the first time I got to walk to chow. So basically, okay. like may maybe like a week after I got to prison, the first time I got to walk to chow, for the first like week or so that they, they, uh, they bring you, uh, they self feed you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, you know, they make sure you're clear to go to the chow hall. Yeah. And uh, I, the first day I went to chow hall, I got in a fight. And, 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 but because I was like, I ain't gonna lie, bro, I, I, I'm scared to death, bro. I'm thinking like, I gotta do something. To make a name fast. Yeah, that so, guy kind of laid a little uh, foundation of how you're thinking. You know? Right. And I'm like, okay, well, if this is how I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it too. I'm gonna do a full blast until I, until it's over. You know what I mean? Because I figured like, I'm here for the rest of my life. That's the way I was looking at it. Like, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be a victim. And in there, man, you've been locked up, bro. But out here, I don't know if it's different because I've been nowhere else but here. But yeah. I know here, you're either. A warrior or you fool it's it's i mean you either eating or you fool man yeah it's, and you know and that's just what it, and i wasn't gonna be a fool i wasn't gonna be nobody fool so it, it seems just, to it, me in california it's either you're gang banging or your food you know what i mean i mean that's pretty much it that's pretty, <laughs> much, it. That's pretty much it bro you either you either with the shit or you not man and if yeah. you not if you not stay out the way because you potential fool Bottom yeah. line, like, yeah. that, you know, you got cats that prey on the weak on purpose. And then you got you got the weak that get targeted on purpose. Like, you know, I mean, we might be on a prison yard and they don't want to rush the bloods because the bloods are strong. But they'll rush those five blacks that are not affiliates over there because they weak and that's an easy target. Yeah. So let's take out those five and make a statement. You know, what I mean, it's, I've seen it happen. And yeah. but yeah, I'm in reception. I get into a fight, and then I get out to the yard ten days later because they kick me right back out to the yard, and uh, I get in trouble from the car because the homies is hollering me like, "You y'all, we beef on the streets, but we don't beef in here like that. This prison, this ain't the streets. In Oak Park and the Heights, we rock together in prison. It's just we 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 on some Sacramento stuff. So if yeah. you a blood from Sacramento, you just a blood from Sacramento. So you know, a couple of the homies from my neighborhood was like. Bro, we just gonna work out the whole yard. We gonna work out with you, but you gotta work out the whole yard as a discipline for that, bro. Because you should have put your hands on that man. And then my mentality is, he can get a run back if he wanted. Like we we can run it back if he feel like he didn't get his. 
And they were like, nah, that ain't how it worked, man. You just got to work out. I'm like, all right, that's the one and only time I ever just got disciplined my whole time. 